This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. This is Central Texas Life with Ann Harder. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Central Texas Life and, you know, the life of any community, Rebecca, the seasons and the, you know, the just the rhythm of life. And that, of course, involves the holidays. And here we are in the throes of summer, hot, hot day. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be talking about Christmas. Exactly. So why not? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so good to have uh, Becky Huppert with the Salado, Salado Ladies Community League here and uh, talking about my favorite place on earth just about is Salado you know it's my happy place and uh, coming up in October a really happy place so this is like four what four years you've been doing so four years for the Jingle Walk specifically but the Salado Ladies Community League um, has we celebrated our 50th birthday last year so 51 years old this year and we have had 45 um, Christmas in October's Um, Yes, this is our 45th Christmas in October. There have been different iterations, Mm -hmm. um, starting with decorated Christmas trees in the Civic Center that people could buy, uh, to a bake sale, which was renowned. And people still ask me about that bake sale, too. Um, (laughs) Wanting to revive that. (laughs) Exactly. Women from all over the community would bake wonderful, wonderful desserts and would often be sold before the bake sale even started. But um, oh. <laughs> And then even during COVID, we were able to continue with Christmas in October with a silent auction online. Mm-hmm. And once COVID ended, then we decided to try Jingle Walk. Okay. So, so, so hence the recent um, history Correct. for Jingle Walk. And, and the, the whole idea of it, of course, is to, to um, kind of partner with the wonderful stores in exactly. Salido. Hey, everybody wants to go to mm-hmm. Salido to shop for Christmas, so why not get a kind of a jump start in October? Correct. Yes. Um, the Salido Ladies Community League, um, one of their purposes is to enhance and improve and promote the village of Salido. Um, so we are a 501c3. This is our main fundraiser. And yes, the stores are always very generous. Stores, restaurants, businesses, always very generous. And they do partner with us. And um they will provide uh, 250 gifts for our 250 ticket holders. So you're sold out at 250. We we have limited tickets at 250, yeah. and they do often sell. Um, we, well, we have sold out the last four years. Yeah, uh, of definitely. Course. And um, yes, and it's just a fun event. the The walkers will come. Hopefully, spend all three days. It is October 13th. Excuse me, October 11th. 12th and 13th, the second weekend in October. And it's a three-day event. Hopefully people will spend all three days. The walkers will come. They get a passport that Mm -hmm. has all the stores and a map of Salado, um, all the participating stores. And they go to the stores, get a punch on their passport. If they buy something, they also get a sticker. Okay. Um, And then if you get all of the punches, you come back to see us, you turn in your raffle ticket. The businesses have also donated wonderful prizes. Last year, we had over $3,000 in raffle prizes alone from hotels, restaurants, med spas, of course, the stores themselves, just wonderful gift baskets. Um, And the stickers do depend on the level of gift baskets. So, of course, we're trying to promote shopping. Sure. Um, So the more stores that you, from which you purchase, the higher the level of gift basket. So and that is yes. amazing. So, mm-hmm. so can your passport that you buy is for all three days, or can you get just one day? Or you can you can spend as many as much time or as little time. Okay. Um, I do want to say it's um, it's quite humorous. I'm going to shout out to Jackie from Dallas because <laughs> she will buy her tickets at. 1201 on September 1st. They go uh-huh. on sale at midnight. She she bought her tickets last year at 1201. 16 tickets. Oh, it's a girls' friends. day. It's yes. a girls' weekend for them. And wow. they stayed until we drew the raffle at four <laughs> o'clock on Sunday. On Sunday, that's right. Yes, oh, they have a fun. fun time. I, and this is not an unusual story. Um, I just received a text from a woman that moved away from Salado, and she has 16 people signed up. She's still coming with all her friends. Yeah. And one of her friends creates a spreadsheet. 
for that <laughs> yep. time. as what store to go to, when to go to, how much time you can oh. spend in that store, where we will have lunch, how much time we have to spend <laughs> lunch. It's a it's an event for for some of these women, and it's just so heartening to It'd see. Be fun to come to Salido just to watch. <laughs> So one, one, something that just filled my heart last year was we have these big red shopping bags that mm-hmm. we give people um, right, as right. well with their passport um, to put all your free gifts in and to oh, see yeah. all these red bags walking up and yes. down Main Street. And yeah. a lot of times, too, you know, people will be in the store and say, what's going on? Yeah, I didn't know this was going yeah. on. So yeah. um, sometimes we do have tickets available the day of, and those are people that, have canceled that couldn't make it and have kindly redonated right, their ticket. Right. So um, that happens. So, so if it's a last minute trip, mm-hmm. please come by and see us. But um, but yes, they go on sale first of September on CentralTexasTickets.com. Okay. For thirty dollars, I should say that too. Yes, thirty dollars. Oh. Yes, oh, and yes very for reasonable. for free yeah. gifts and and a you know potentially these wonderful raffle prizes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's really of course, wonderful. Wonderful. B&Bs, you know, places to stay. And so you've got enough time now, as we're talking about it now, to uh, to make those make those plans and get those arrangements. Correct. And yeah. Salado Golf Cart Rentals has also just recently partnered with us. They will um, give a discount to anyone that wants to rent a golf cart. And as you oh. know, it is a, a very popular golf cart community. <laughs> well, so, it is. Mm-hmm. It is. And mm-hmm. now, you know, with the work that's been done on Main Street and the sidewalks and everything is much better you know, much easier access. Wonderful sidewalks, wonderful street lighting. Yes, it's just a beautiful little town. Just Mm -hmm. so many Mm -hmm. great, so many great retail stores to to check out. So I'm assuming these, uh, these shop proprietors are, you know, kind of thinking, okay, my deadline for getting Christmas up they're, are they going to be decorated? They're going to. So um, some stores, yes, well, if they will either have a corner decorated okay. or they. They'll they, do something. They will definitely have something. I know there's one shop that, that permanently has her Santa and reindeer just on the. <laughs> On her ceiling, and she just changes it for whatever season. I think the Easter Bunny was was driving it in April. Um, but yes, um, one of the vendors I know has been uh, spends all year shopping for gifts. Uh, he has an antique bookstore, and oh, he spends yes. all year yeah. shopping for gifts, and he lays them out on his dining room table because he also lives in the shop, and mm-hmm. he just lays them out on his dining room table, and people can can pick their gifts. Um, one vendor asked me in April when I was just shopping for something yeah. for myself and and said, are y'all doing Jingle Walk again? Because I already got my gifts. So, so they do prepare. Oh. Um, there's a little bit, I think, a little bit of competition. Probably. Um, and then also, too, um, they hear back from patrons saying, I really loved what you gave. I hope oh. you're giving it this year. You know, oh. so. Oh. Um, but we also have some new stores as well that are participating. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, just uh, just a variety of stores, anywhere from home goods to um, to a dog store, pet store mm-hmm. um, is participating, gallery, tea, books, clothing, of course. But, yes, we are um, very happy with the, with the of lineup. Of course, Salido is known as an artist kind of enclave. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm assuming there will be some art stores that will be involved. And Correct. Kind of Salido Glass Works and just so many. Correct. Well, and honestly, too, you know, even if the, the stores aren't, you know, giving the whole punch, you know, please stop by, you oh, know. Absolutely. Yes, I mean, because we do have just – they all have such wonderful things, and um, yeah, it, and it is. We do not have chain stores, so they are, are all they are all unique stores, and the restaurants as well, very tasty. Um, we have a Tex-Mex place now. There will probably be a Mexican restaurant open by the time it starts. A stagecoach okay. is tr- is of trying course. to reopen, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so the we have breweries, we have wineries. Uh, it's just a, a great spot. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, it's. You just As you know, I'm thinking, of, I mean, I'm thinking of Katie. As Hill. you I'm know, thinking of people yes. that I, you know, I'm thinking of the people that I that I know now. They're in Salado, and it it is. It's just such a delightful uh, place to spend a little time or a lot of time. Three days, if you want to uh, do the Jingle Walk. Uh, let's talk a little bit more though about the Salado Ladies Community League and in your involvement. What kind of drew you to that particular well yes I am actually new to Salado we've um, only lived there three years and um, being retired of course I wanted to needed something to do and wanted to make friends and there (laughs) were several people that had mentioned that they belonged to the ladies league and or I would see their um, their 
PR notices in the paper because every month they will have a speaker come. You were kind enough to come and speak to us I last year, and it so was wonderful. Fun. It was really my little traveling Texas traveling show. Yes, yes. <laughs> it was fun. So it this was really fun. Second was a week, great group yes, of ladies. Yeah. We have about 100 members. Um, unfortunately, because we are right now, we have our programs during the day. Um, we haven't been able to, of course, capture um, all the audience or all the people right, that we right, have right that, now, that but still 100 members middle. strong. Um, That's the great. second Thursday of the month, we have a program. Um, and then, yes, we have our Jingle Walk. But, um, yes, the money, um, like I said, it's a 501c3. The money all goes back to the community. Mm-hmm. And we've been lucky enough, I mean, this year alone, um, we've been able to give grants of over $10,000 um, to not only to scholarships, um, but also to the Art League of Salado, um, other events like the Cowboy Poetry and Music Gathering that we had in May, Mm -hmm. um, as well as the Senior Center and um, Heart and Hands Ministries, just various The Senior Center has had some activity. I mean, I think they changed locations. Senior Center is a year old now, Mm -hmm. and um, they are um, at... Near the Methodist Church, or one of the Methodist Church buildings has kindly, uh, the Methodists have kindly loaned them the building. Uh And um, every Monday and Thursday, that has grown exponentially. I don't think they realized how popular their programs were going to be. Right. I go there and play Mahjong. Um, we, the Ladies League donated a new um, bingo computer system because theirs wasn't keeping up yeah. <laughs> or running yeah. down. Um, so, yes, the Senior Center has, has really grown yeah, I know David Swarthout Correct. very active with that. I think he knew that there was a there was a real need that that would uh, kind of kind of scratch an itch there exactly. in Salado. And um, yeah, so such an active group of people who are passionate about the community and helping. Yes, and so that's what's really neat about the uh, um, the ladies the ladies league. And so if somebody wanted to learn more information about maybe they're in Salado, haven't heard of it, they're living under a rock somewhere, maybe. Correct, yes. How can, they, how can they get in touch with you? Um, they can go to our Facebook page, uh-huh. which is, um, if you type in S-L-C-L, um, it will take you to our Facebook page. Uh, we do have a website, but that's also going to direct you to the Facebook page. But our email address is Salado, L-C-L, 73 at gmail.com. And that's Salado, L is in ladies, C is in community, L is in league. 73 for the year that we were um, founded. And um, more than welcome to email us as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to know a little bit more about you, though, Rebecca. So you said you've just recently moved to uh, within three years. So where did you come from? My husband and I uh, retired from the federal government in Virginia. Oh, my. And my my parents have been living in Fredericksburg for 30 years. Uh Uh-huh. So we moved to get closer to them, and basically we, we... Drew a three mile, or excuse me, a three hour radius uh-huh. around Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg yeah. Started in Waco and then just kind of started hitting all these little towns, um, yeah. you know, in between and happened to find um, Salado. I had actually had an article from Texas Highways Magazine at mm-hmm. Stagecoach Inn. And um, yeah, we just, it was so charming. It was actually during when, at the time when they were building the sidewalks, um, it, was, right. it was pretty quiet, but, um, uh, but yeah, so that was charming. kind of a rough period of time there, there. Was. and that's about about when you moved I guess yes in fact I was and listening to your podcast were struggling. Yes. I mean, it was, yeah. with Tiffany and and um mm-hmm. yes and and you know still so she's a little force of nature <laughs> <laughs> but um but you know she she captured it quite well you know the it, I, I really liked her analogy with you know with a forest fire yes it can destroy things but then you have the new growth coming yeah. back yeah and that's exactly what what um how Salado is. Yeah. Yes, we don't have all the original stores that we did, but, no, but we have. I know have. some of them I grieve over because I loved Magnolia. You know, there were several that I'm like, oh, you know, yeah. did a lot of shopping yeah. at. But it's all it's all good. Exactly. And uh, exactly. even, you know, other things coming up, Serena Fest, I mean. Yes, we do. That's the first weekend in um, October. October is a very busy time for yeah. Salado. Uh, yeah. Weather's getting cooler. Everyone's coming out. Right. Serena Fest is the first weekend in October. Um, that has changed a little bit. It is definitely a family-friendly mm-hmm. um, 
environment. They're going to have all sorts of things for the kids. Oh, yeah. Um, Mermaids everywhere. Exactly. Because, of course, you know, our wonderful um, artist Troy Kelly and, and his, his mermaid statue that's helped make our town uh, notable. And um, actually, even during our weekend, um, uh, Oktoberfest... Um, will be happening well, at of Barrows, of course, for right, two weekends. Right, right. And then even the weekend afterwards, we have the Volks ride. So if you want to get a 100-mile bike ride in, um, it will benefit the fire department. So, oh. yeah. So And that's, yeah, like I said, just all the businesses are so giving and, and so wonderful to help us out. Well, as so. you say, October is really a primo seasonal month for Central Texas. And, uh, of course, Salado has such a deep history if you're interested in Texas history and, and the, um, the historic buildings to see there, and there's just so much to enjoy in that town. There village. is. Yes, village, is yeah, exactly. It is right. technically a village. But, um, yes, and, in fact, I am very slowly learning about the history. It wasn't my, my forte in school, but um, I am on the museum board, so I kind of oh, have to learn you. about the yeah, history. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes, wonderful, I mean, the dynamics between, you know, Robertson and Austin, which is being put on at the Legends of Salado. If you're visiting mm-hmm. us in the summertime um, in, in August, you please see the play oh, yes, that Jackie wonderful. Mills uh, um wrote and um yes just stagecoach in is iconic of course and um yeah baines uh was a relative of um uh, president johnson Mm -hmm. um he has a a, a, one of his ancestors has a home there Mm -hmm. um many noticeable notable people excuse me like uh grace jones who is just this wonderful presence i mean to to know that 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 store had all the top designers and women from Washington would fly in in their helicopters and planes. And, oh, I wish I had seen that. And, I know. Uh, yes, I know. It's yes. Just, and, of course, Liz Carpenter. You wonderful know, Wonderful to yeah. think about. I mean, it's just mm-hmm. amazing to think mm-hmm. about. Um, so yes, every time I turn around, you know, there's, there's just some – fascinating facet of Salado's history or even uh, current status that just amazes me that this <laughs> little town remarkable. has. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. And, and there's a statue now of Robert Duvall. So many years that ago. is correct. <laughs> I was that there for correct. the unveiling of that, you know, mm-hmm. did a Facebook Live there. You know, any any chance I get to come to Salado, yes, I'm going to take wonderful. it. Yes, love to, wonderful. Love to be um, there just to, to enjoy that community. Of course, the Chisholm Trail, you know, and all the, just the, the historic aspect of it, but for just a fun afternoon of shopping and um, something good to eat, exactly, it's a great place. So let's talk uh, again one more time. This uh, passport, show them the passport. Yes. Oh, sorry. That's right. I forget we have a only camera. 200, <laughs> only two hundred and fifty. Only two hundred and fifty for thirty dollars. Again, you will get um, you'll get over. 20 gifts. We have over 20 stores participating. Yes, um, centraltexastickets.com on 1st September. Um, I suggest that you get them as early as possible because, like I said, we do sell out. Um, and, yes, we hope to hope to see you there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. well, and, in fact, we are inviting you, Miss Ann. We oh. are giving you a oh ticket. We hope that you, will, ah. that you will come come and and participate oh, and, and you can go awesome. to all, go to all your favorite shops and maybe discover some new ones <laughs> uh, count, count me in wonderful count me in. wonderful um again tickets go on sale september 1st though so Central you've Texas. got you know a little bit of time yes. as uh, you're able to to uh, hear this mm-hmm. interview mm-hmm. um i like to end these little visits with a questionnaire similar to the one that i like great james lipton mm-hmm. and uh, if i've asked you these questions i've forgotten what you said so. You haven't, but but I did cheat. I listened to your oh, podcast, you? <laughs> and so I did okay. come a little bit well, prepared. You have, a, you have a little bit of a heads up. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Let's start. What is your What is your favorite word, Rebecca? So recently, I have found my favorite word is why. I really? love. I've been very curious lately, just uh-huh. about um, learning learning things, learning new things, learning about Salado's yeah. history. Whereas before, um, you know, I may not have cared, but um, just. Lots of lots of things pique my interest nowadays, so I do find myself asking why that, all the time. That's good. <laughs> what about a least favorite word? Probably can't. Yeah, um, I hear it's that kind a lot. of restricting. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, I hear and that. And to me, a it's lot. a challenge. Uh, so <laughs> this to me is the hardest question. What turns you on creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Um, what turns me on? Um, 
I do. Well, I love reading, I guess, I guess learning education, um, and just, um, sharing that with other people too. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, best example, probably I I love my book club. I love talking about books. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love hearing what other people are reading and then, um, reading something that they've recommended that's outside my comfort zone or that I wouldn't have even thought of. Wouldn't have thought of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's great. What, turns you off then conversely emotionally or spiritually or um, creatively yes um i guess the um i guess limitations or lack of diversity or not not having diversity available mm-hmm. um i do like to hear different opinions um i mean you know jingle walk as as an example is is not just for one person, and I've gotten lots of ideas from other people from Salado yeah. or, or just the community. Yeah. So, yeah, so if there's any sort of restriction on, on diversity, I, I don't really like that. Right. What sound do you love the most? Um, pages turning in a book. Uh, really? I mean, you are into you. Are <laughs> I do love my reading. I yeah. do. <laughs> now, that's good. What sound, then, do you hate? Um sirens because that mm-hmm. usually means that something bad has happened yeah. unfortunately but um ironically too um bagpipes right now currently <laughs> and really uh, well and the museum like i said i'm on the museum board their big lot, fundraiser Sol- is the scottish lot, festival i and know you're gonna hear bagpipes three days of bagpipes oh. and, and, <laughs> you know i do appreciate I, I it still confounds me how they actually play and create music know, out really. of them but Isn't that the truth? but um yeah. And there's a talent to it, obviously. There is a talent. Because a good pe- bagpipe and a bad, maybe there's not a lot of difference. I'm not so sure. So maybe that. I should say practicing bagpipes. Practicing <laughs> the bagpipes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Um, what other profession would you like? You say you you worked in the federal government? Yes. What, mm-hmm. what did you do? Administration. Okay. Um, so basically anything from budget, finance, human resources. Oh, mm-hmm. well, I mean, you're you're a perfect one then for the job you have with the ladies league but um so what what job would you like to have tried? so yes i would have um i still have a, an interest in gemology really um or rocks yes that was that was what i thought i was going to go into um that's what when i was in college i was ah kind of studying towards that or at least the business side of it um yes i love not necessarily jewelry per se but i love jewelry as well but um just looking at gemstones looking at rocks um i'm thinking of a wonderful jeweler in salida oh yes (laughs) Yes. quite a couple yes oh yeah yeah absolutely um what profession then do you know you would not want to try so I did think about this a lot and um I thought meat packing anything in the meat packing industry <laughs> yeah, I would <laughs> the smell you know I, I like to eat it but it, you know it's no there there are as uh, as Michael was it Michael Rowe you know dirty jobs there are there are jobs that people do um hats off to them yes yes I very much appreciate like you said I know yeah. where my meat comes from but I don't want to experience that. So. <laughs> I hear, you. I hear you. Well, one last question. Mm-hmm. What do you want to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates, Rebecca? Um, probably well done. Yeah, that's pretty scriptural. Yeah, yeah. I would would like yes yeah, for my to yes for my life to have meant something, of course, and yeah. or and or at least to have um, left a positive influence. Mm-hmm. Well, you are doing all the good that I can see there in the beautiful village of Salado as the uh, wonderful Jingle Walk is about to uh, to kick off. It'll be here like that. Yes. I mean, I know it's just the middle of August, but yeah, it will be here quickly. And um, this is this is the 11th through the 13th of October. Correct. There Friday, Saturday, Salado, Sunday. Tickets are on sale the 1st of September, and it is a passport that you will have. And you can go and to mm-hmm. all these wonderful retailers, stores, yes. and they'll punch your little ticket, and you can do some. I mean, wouldn't it be great to get all your shopping done? Well, exactly, and or even in just October. get familiar with the stores and come back during stroll, which is the well, first course, two weekends in, in December. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's plenty of opportunity <laughs> in, mm-hmm. in Salado exactly. to, uh, to to get that um, that shopping list ticked off. Um, but again, it's good, and it's all for a great cause that's going to. Uh, continue to sow into the community correct 
there right. of Salido, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you, you Anne. being here Thank with you us. Thank you very much. Talking to us on Central Texas Life. Mm-hmm. Go and spend a little life in Salido. You will not be sorry. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Central Texas Life with Ann Harder is part of the Rogue Media family. Be sure to check out our other shows at roguemedianetwork.com. Please rate this show five stars on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or anywhere you get your podcasts. Join us again soon for more Central Texas Life with Ann Harder. This has been a Rogue Media Network 